Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This makeup look is apparently the makeup look of the week. <laughs> I am knocking out videos today. I did at least change shirts for you, but the next two videos that you will see after this one is gonna be this exact same makeup look. It is our spring break. We are going out of town and I needed to get as many in in one day of filming as possible. I know y'all will forgive me and don't care because this is a fun video. I have been receiving so many comments and messages that you can't wait for my next fragrance haul. Ask and you shall receive because that is what we're gonna be doing. I have quite a few fragrances that I've added to my collection. Can't stop, won't stop. It's like my thing now. I know I get on kicks. I feel like I've got every item of makeup that I will ever need. Not saying I'm gonna stop buying makeup, but the perfume is the kick for me right now. <laughs> and it's a big one. So let's go ahead and get started. A couple of these are niche, a couple of these are cheapies, and a couple of them are designers. So let's go ahead and start with one that I know you have heard about, so I'm not gonna stay on it for too long. This is the Maison Lancome Iris Draggies. Y'all, I'm gonna see how to pronounce that. Drages. Definitely not how I've been saying it. Okay, this is Iris Draggies. <laughs> Y'all, I feel so silly right now. I thought that Maison Lancome was discontinuing this line of fragrances or that Lancome was, but then I saw two brand new scents on Selfridges, so maybe not. I got this from Saks and this is the beautiful bottle. So that is the nameplate and then this is the side which has a beautiful metal plate design and then that's the color of the liquid. So I'll be putting the notes up here on the screen from Fragrantica, which is where I get all of my information when it comes to notes. And I'm also going to be spraying it. Not that I don't know what this smells like, but it's good to have a fresh nose on it. This is an iris scent. It's gonna be a little bit powdery, but it's a powdery sweet scent. It's not, to me, it's not like the Guerlain Encelance that I had hauled the last one. That's a straight up powdery makeup scent. This has almond, sugar, orange blossom, vanilla, white musk, bergamot, pink pepper. I'm learning I really like pink pepper, especially in the opening notes. It's gorgeous. It's not the most long lasting on me, but I don't mind reapplying this throughout the day. And I also really like to wear this at night. I feel like it's very comfy and cozy. It's very spring appropriate in my opinion. I don't feel like it's too heavy. It might get a little cloying in like 95 degree weather. I don't know. I'm definitely going to try and let you know. And then I also love the magnetic cap. So the bottle is a 10 out of 10 for me. The fragrance is, I would say, at least an 8 out of 10 because the longevity could be a little bit longer on me. But the scent is a 10 out of 10. I love it so much. I can finally keep it out of the box now. <laughs> Let's do some cheapies real quick. Target just launched a line called Mix Bar. I believe there are six scents altogether. I purchased three of them. They are $18 each. I got these totally as a blind buy from the website, but I was in Target yesterday and they do have, in mine at least, all of the testers out for you to smell. So I was able to smell some other ones and these are still my top three favorites. So I'm glad it's what I chose. And these are more I don't want to say linear scents because it's not just one note, but it's definitely not a plethora of notes. Like what you see on the box as far as the name of the perfume is what you're going to get. The first one is Vanilla Bourbon. They come in nice boxes like this. And then it is a 50 ml bottle and it does say Eau de Parfum instead of Eau de Toilette. So this is how the bottles come. And this one, according to Fragranica, only has four notes of Madagascar vanilla, oak, five notes, excuse me, black pepper, jasmine, and apple blossom. Oh my goodness. This smells so good. It's hard to pick my favorite out of this three, but I really, I mean, I, honestly, the vanilla and the oak are the standouts for me in this. It is a woody vanilla in my opinion, but it smells so good. Now I'm gonna be honest and say these do not last very long and they turn into a skin scent fairly quickly. That is not always a bad thing. There are people who work in professional environments, closely with other people, 
in healthcare, people who are told not to even wear perfumes but can't get around wearing a perfume, that something like this is going to be absolutely perfect for. So don't discount it just because I say it doesn't last forever. And because these are so affordable, I don't mind re reapplying them all day. And to be quite honest, I like trying three or four scents out during the day. So unless I really want to commit to one fragrance, I like the ones that only last a little bit. Now, the Iris, uh, the Iris one, I'm not even going to try. The Iris one I just talked about lasts even longer than this one or these in general but they are meant to be more linear type fragrances that you can mix, match, layer, or wear alone. So that is Vanilla Bourbon. The next one is Coconut Palm, which has a pretty much clear liquid inside. This does have a few more notes. It has vanilla, sandalwood, salt, woody notes, musk, coconut, and seaweed. I can honestly say I do not have another fragrance in my collection with the note of seaweed. This one is not as warm as the vanilla bourbon. It's definitely more summery. I smell the salt in this and the coconut and maybe a little bit of the musk, but I feel like the salt and the coconut are the standouts to me, to my nose anyways. I do really like layering these two, the vanilla bourbon and the coconut. I do feel like when I layer them, the longevity is a little bit longer as well, probably because I'm spraying more than I would if I just used one. But if you're wanting like a more less warm summery scent, that coconut palm is really great. Now the next one that I'm going to talk about, I put all of these out for Audrey Kate to smell the other day, kind of as a blind smell test. And she narrowed it down to her top three. And this one was her favorite out of all the ones that I'm showing you today. And it is Cloud Musk. So it has a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a pink tint to the liquid of this one. And the notes in here are a little bit more as well. It has nine notes of cashmere musk, tonka bean, cotton flower, jasmine, cardamom, pink pepper, iris, peony, and woody notes. I think out of the three, this is my favorite. And probably because of the tonka bean, cotton flower, and iris. But it's not a knock you down powdery scent. The iris Lancome one is more powdery than this. I can smell a little bit of the woody notes, especially on the dry down. But I honestly think these are totally worth going into Target and smelling or even blind buying. If you look at the notes in the description and you think you'll like them, because for $18, they honestly just can't be beat. Especially if you have like a teenager in the house or, you know, a preteen, like my 12 year old loves to wear perfume, but I'm obviously not going to give her my niche ones and say, go for it. <laughs> but she can come spray these all day long, any day. And they're more appropriate, I feel like, because they are more of a close to the skin type of scent. Okay, let's talk about a couple that I got from Ulta. They are both from Ariana Grande. I'm not huge into celebrity scents, but I will say that Ariana Grande makes good perfumes. I have seen people who only wear niche perfumes talk about her perfumes on YouTube. I mean, they're well-made scents in my opinion. However, this one I'm not the biggest fan of. It's going to take some getting used to. This is the Thank You Next perfume. Now, I'm going to tell you why I got this because it was five times the points on Ulta for this specific perfume. And there were very polarizing reviews of this. Very. And I feel like it was split down the line of, I love it. It's amazing. It smells great to this smells like dill pickles in a perfume. Legit. That is the most negative review as a culmination that I saw about this fragrance. And I am not going to lie and say that I don't agree with it to an extent. The opening is very dill pickly-ish, if that's a word. And I'm not quite sure how. The top notes are raspberry and pear, middle notes are coconut and pink rose, and the base nut notes are macarons and musk, which when I read that, I'm like, sign me up. This comes out, by the way. You don't have to keep that broken heart. I got the smaller one because obviously this was a blind buy. I knew there was a possibility that I might not like this, and I didn't hate it, but I get the pickle thing. I totally get the pickle thing. And I'm not quite sure where they get raspberry and pear for the top notes because I'm getting neither of those. As it dries down, I do start to get a little bit of the coconut, a little bit of the musk, maybe macarons, 
maybe it turns into a little bit of sweet, but that first spray is definitely dill pickle-ish. Again, I'm loving this new vocabulary I'm creating. But I don't hate it. Now, Audrey Kate loves her some pickles. Loves her some pickles. And when I sprayed her this for her and I had her smell it, I said, what's the first thing you smell? And I thought for sure, being the pickle connoisseur that she is, she was going to say pickles. And she didn't. She actually said she liked it. So that just goes to show you how different noses are. Not my favorite. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. This one I got in the same order and I like it a lot more. And in fact, out of all of the Ariana Grande perfumes I hear talked about, this is the one with the most love surrounding it, in my opinion. I only got the travel spray of this and it is cloud. So this is the travel spray. The notes on this are lavender, pear, bergamot, whipped cream, praline, coconut, vanilla orchid, musk, and woody notes. Lavender is not my favorite, but I don't get lavender in this. I've heard her REM one is much more lavender centric. This is, this is a sophisticated scent. I think it's the most sophisticated scent of all of her perfumes. So if you are someone who has smelled her perfumes while in store in the past and you just think they're too young for you, I personally don't care. I don't think an age should be put on a perfume. But if you do feel that way, I would still smell this one because this is not a young perfume to me. This is a very well-made, well-blended scent that I don't have anything similar to in my collection. So I'm really glad that I have it and I anticipate me going through it fairly fast and will likely buy the full size. Let's talk about these two little decants that I've got. I have subscribed to a place called Royalty Scents. So you can see that's their logo right there. And it's kind of like a, a scent bird type of subscription service, but they do have more designer, I don't want to say designer because Scentbird, ha Scentbird has designer too, but like niche fragrances, I feel than other subscription services have. And I picked the one where you get two a month and I believe it's $36.95. So they come in 10 mil decants, but I, so far I'm very happy with them. So if they pop out. So this one is the designer and it's called Burberry Body. This has peach, wormwood, and freesia on the top notes. The middle are rose, sandalwood, and iris. And then it, the base notes um, dry down are musk, cashmere wood, vanilla, and amber. I haven't made up my mind about this on paper. I haven't gotten around to wearing it on the skin yet. And I like it on paper once it's dried down more. So I'll definitely keep y'all updated once I wear it on the skin. I don't dislike it, but it's a pretty strong perfume. The next one that I got from Royalty Scents is from Christian Dior, their kind of Privé line, and it's Bev Delicio, Delicious, Delicious. It's Bev Delicious. <laughs> This has a lot of notes that I'm not going to go through, but it does have cherry, tonka bean, vanilla, caramel, praline, benzoin, milk. I do like a lactonic fragrance, leather, and cedar. This is a classy scent. Some people say it's a gourmand. I don't really classify it as a gourmand. Like, I don't want to eat this scent. I don't find that the praline and the caramel make it a gourmand in my eyes. But it is classy. I smell the cedar. I smell the leather. It almost dries down to be a little smoky. I don't necessarily think you should blind buy this. I think you should get samples. And I'll put down in the description box the samples um, or the places that I like to buy my samples. Or get it in one of these kind of scent bird royalty scent type subscription services. But I have been using it a good amount. You can see how much has been out of that decant. I like it. I don't love it for every day. I feel like there's a, a, I've been talking so much. This is the third video I have filmed today. Specific time and a place, but I honestly couldn't tell you what that would be since I've been wearing it pretty much for anything lately. So don't mind me. Wear it whenever you want. But it's really hard to explain. It's pretty complex in my opinion. It's definitely not a linear fragrance at all. This next one, I don't believe is available in mass. Right now, I think it's been discontinued, but I got this off of Fragrance Net because I have wanted this for a while, and I kept hearing people talk about it in like their top favorite, like sweeter perfumes. And this is from Ralph Lauren, and it is Tender Romance. So I got this, if I didn't just say, maybe I did, Fragrance Net. <laughs> and this has pear, ginger, bergamot, white magnolia, white ginger lily, jasmine, 
benzoin, cashmere wood, and musk. I honestly don't know if I smell any of those notes <laughs> when I spray this, but I am not disappointed in this. If you can find this on a discounter, grab it. I love this so much. This was also one of AC's favorites. It's just fresh. It's a little bit sweet. I love wearing this. I feel comfortable wearing this. It's not super floral, but it's not really like leathery or woody or anything like that. And it's also not like plain sugar, but I love it. Oh my goodness. I really, 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 really love this one. So again, Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. This next one I talked about on my Instagram in my last Get Ready With Me. And this is A Whiff of Waffle Comb by Imaginary Authors. I love the presentation of this. It comes in what looks like a book. You open it, you have the fragrance, and then it also comes with a small sample, which I don't have still in there. Really cute presentation. This is in collaboration with Salt and Straw, which is an ice cream company, I believe out west. I know we don't have them here. I don't know how far they expand past California, and I believe maybe they're in the Pacific Northwest as well. But this is a very sweet, very original fragrance. I've never smelled anything like this. This has vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amaris, orgeat, Saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop. So the ice cream shop is kind of the imaginary note that they include in all of their scents. Imaginary authors, imaginary note. This smells like walking into an ice cream shop while they're making their waffle cones, scooping out vanilla ice cream, and if I'm quite honest, walking through someone that's smoking right as you walk in because it has a smoke effect to it. It's crazy. It is crazy how good this is. I love it, but it's so, it really is distinct. So I, I don't encourage you to blind buy this necessarily, although I think some of y'all messaged me and said that you did based off my description on my Instagram video. But yeah, as it dries down, I get a little bit of that smoke. It's not so super sweet. I feel like I could still wear this in the summer. Oh, it's a cozy scent that takes you places. That's why I love the, the replica scent so much because it does take you to a certain place and time. And I feel like this does as well. So I am not sad that I blind bought this because I felt like based on the notes that I was going to love it. And I do, but just do your research because I do find it is very distinct and original. Two more y'all, two more. <laughs> this next one I'm very, very excited about because technically it's a cheapie and it is a spot on dupe for a niche fragrance. I've had Killian Love Don't Be Shy on my list ever since I smelled the sample that I received. I love it so much. And upon research, I found that a lot of people were saying a great dupe was from a company called Be Layered. And I got, oh my goodness, I feel like I maybe got 14 samples from them. This was not one of them because this had a waiting list and it told you what number you were on the waiting list. And I was like number 1700 something on that waiting list. So I honestly did not think that I would be getting this as quick as I did, but they sent me an email and told me it was ready. And it's the Caramel Overdo Overdose Eau de Parfum. When you look this up on Fragrantica, all of the comments say it's, it smells exactly like Love Don't Be Shy. And the only notes it says is caramel. I don't believe that. This does not smell like caramel to me. This smells like Love Don't Be Shy. It's got that marshmallowy sweet scent to it. I honestly don't know how there's not a bigger dent in this because I have been going ham on this fragrance lately. I also like to wear this one to bed and all throughout the day. It just smells just like it. So if you don't want to drop 240 bucks on a perfume, I totally get it. This was $33. Now, I don't know if it's still available, but they likely will have a wait list. So I'm going to um, list it down in the description box, as I will all of these. Um, and you can get on that waiting list, and it shouldn't be that long because it's good stuff. This is a five and a half mil. I don't imagine it will last very long, to be quite honest. It's something I can be a big oversprayer with, and it's still not too much. Well, I don't think it's too much. Maybe people around me do, but that's not that's not who I wear perfume for. So I have been absolutely loving this as a dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And to be quite honest, 
I feel like this one lasts on my skin even longer. I saved the best for last, y'all. Most definitely the best for last. And it's so funny because I bought a lot of samples from Fragrances line. They came in. I was texting and talking with Abby. We were smelling them together. She was like, oh, yeah, I have that one. I don't have that one. I love that one. Don't love that one. You know, we were just doing, doing the talk, doing the fragrance talk. <laughs> and I got to this one and she was like, oh, I knew, I knew you would like it. And that was before I smelled it because she has it. And then I smelled it and I'm like, oh my goodness, I love this so much. And then not two hours later, I purchased the full bottle. That's the only one out of the samples that I got a full bottle because it was my favorite. And I had someone DM me on Instagram and they said, I feel like we have a lot of common scents that we like or a lot of scents that we like in common. If you haven't tried so-and-so, so-and-so, you really should. And I'm like, girl, I just bought it. Great minds think alike. And this is from Guerlain. And I just want to show you the box that it came in. Okay. I mean, obviously it came in a bigger cardboard box, but you open it and this is a presentation, really pretty, you know, Guerlain logo and emblem on the front. You open the box, lots of tissue paper and fluff, and you have another box that looks like this. I was very impressed. Now, I'm not going to lie, I paid for all of this. Like the amount that this perfume costs, I better get a box like this. That's all I'm saying. But it is very pretty. You open it up. And the perfume is on the inside. And y'all, this perfume. If you like scents that I like, you're going to like this. This is Gourmand Coquine. Co Coquine. You know. I'll put it down in the description box. One of these days, a perfume is going to be called Hey Y'all, and I'm going to be able to pronounce it. Okay? <laughs> but until then, I will put it in the description box. This is it. Very pretty. It's got that very pretty metal plate. You can obviously see it see-through. The color of the juice is this pretty pink. And this is... Mandy in a bottle. I love my gourmands. Love them so much. I have expanded in my loves of fragrances, okay? Do not get me wrong. I feel like I'm actually pretty complex in what I like, but I love my gourmands and I always will. The notes in this are dark chocolate, cacao, rum, vanilla, spices, rose, and pepper. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not smell the rose, but I smell the chocolate. It's chocolate perfume done right. I don't smell like I just dipped in a vat of like melted chocolate. I don't smell like that. I don't smell like a chocolate dipped strawberry. Like it's not synthetic in any way. This smells like legit luxury, expensive Swiss chocolate. It honestly, it smells like, cause I've been to Switzerland and we went to like this chocolate factory or one of them where they make Swiss chocolate and it smells like walking into there. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell the rum. I can smell the vanilla. I can smell the spices. I don't know what the spices are, but I can smell them. Some people would say this is most appropriate for the nighttime, and some would even go so far as to say it's only appropriate in the winter. And I would go so far as to say, I'm gonna wear it 365 days a year because I like it. Oh, I, I don't just like it, I love it. I know that this is not what you would deem an affordable perfume. It is niche, it is luxury, it is fabulous. I have nothing like it in my collection and I have smelled nothing like it in the umpteen kajillion samples that I've been getting of late. Out of all of these, this is my favorite. Just so good. So hopefully you enjoyed that very long-winded fragrance haul. <laughs> I, I just can't stop, won't stop. So let me know what the last fragrance you purchased was and how you're liking it and what I should look into next. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.